Hi there, good evening. My name is Julie Wall and I am a team leader with Us Born Books and More. And I have been a consultant for three years this spring. I absolutely love my job. I get to share the most amazing books in the world with my friends, family, and people that I've gotten to know through this business. Thank you so much for joining me live. Tonight I am going to be showing you a um, sampling of our spring 2021 new releases. And um, I am excited to get started. I'm going to fit a lot in to a half an hour. I'm going to start off with some baby and toddler books and then move my way progressively up to some books for some older readers, um, some activity books, and then I'm going to finish off with some fun um, story, picture story books. All right, so we will get started again. Thanks for joining me. Um, so first off, um, I, this is one of the books that really attracted me to us born when I first went to my first party. This is called our slide and see series and they are ingenious for babies and toddlers. They are recommended for ages nine months on up. And what I love about them is that they have these really cool, um, uh, inserted um, movable parts within the book. And so they are designed so well. They're very sturdy. Um, you can see how thick it is. The pages have rounded corners. The pages are very thick and sturdy. They can be chewed on, dropped, anything. Um, they can try to bend them and you hardly can. Um, and they are so fun for developing babies um, dexterity and moving um, things around. I have to say when I first got um, one of these slide and see books for my daughter. I went on a car trip with her. She was 14 months old and we were going on our first long car trip and I tucked one of these in the bag um, for her and these little movable parts inside the book kept her occupied for like a full hour on the car trip. Um, so this is the 10th in our slide and see series. We also have dinosaurs farm, nighttime zoo, and a bunch of other ones. I love the bright and lovely um, illustrations in these. And this is the newest one, things to go. Another new one that we have is Baby's First Mix and Match Jobs. Uh, this is kind of like the concept of our famous muddle and match books, except this one just has two panels and they're a little smaller for babies to handle. Um, there's not so much text in it. The muddle and match books have text and this does not have a lot of text. It's mostly just mixing and matching the characters. We have two of these that just came out. And um, again, they are great because kids just love Love flipping these very sturdy, glossy, brightly illustrated pages and making a variety of different uh, characters. Uh, we have mix and match jobs and mix and match emergency. Uh, now, one very exciting new series that just came out is our Touchy Feely Sounds Book Don't Tickle series. This one is the pig. We also have hippo, dino, bear, dinosaurs bear, tiger, and lion. And they have touchy-feely patches that when you rub your finger on it, they actually make sounds. And so we have a pig, and we have a cow, and this is all, it's all farm animals, if you haven't picked that up on this one. And there's a horse. And then the very end plays a song that incorporates all of the animal sounds. E -I -E -I -O. So this one is also cool because on the very back here, it does have an on and off switch. So you can turn it off when you don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, this is a new book that just came out that I just read to my daughter last night and we loved it. The Sound of My Heart. It's great for um, snuggling up with your little lovey 
um, child and really just having some fun one-on-one -on -one time. It's all about the mama and the little baby bunny and the baby bunny hears lots of sounds that make him scared and he's scared to go to bed. Um, and she's assuring him that these sounds are, you know, various different normal things. Um, but one cool feature about the book is that every single page has a little felt, um, heart that is in there that you can touch. So there's something textile on every page. It's very small, uh, but your child can find it on each page. My daughter was loving it. And the very end, it says, um, the, the last sound that the, the little baby bunny hears is um, mama's heartbeat. And she says, it's my heart saying, I love you. For that's a mama's song. At every moment under every under sun, rain or stars, mama's song keeps on playing wherever you are. Ah, said little bun. So that's what I hear. And he rolled into bed and tucked in his ear. Then down in the burrow, snuggled up tight, little bun and his mama slept all through the night. Sleep tight. So this is a very, very cute um, bedtime story that you guys will love snuggling up to. Now, if you have kids who are a little rough on books, babies, toddlers, you may want to think about getting our My Little Library. This comes with six first books books for tiny tots and they are actually tear proof, waterproof and easy to clean and you can see on the back here what the four books are. Colors, first words, numbers, farm friends, busy day, animal friends, and colors. And I'll just take one of these out and they feel like paper books but they are actually, I tried to tear it so you can see I wrinkled it here. I tried to tear it, they're completely tear proof. They are waterproof. You could take them in the bath with you, get them wet, chew on them, whatever. Um, this one here is all about colors. And one thing that I found with my daughter was that these books with the different objects are great for teaching vocabulary also. Um, so this is a great one for, I would say, babies, toddlers, young toddlers, and kids especially who are um, learning to speak, learning vocabulary, speech development. Now, if you're familiar with All Better, we have a brand new one just like it. It's called Good As New. But everyone loves All Better because it has five reusable Band-Aid stickers in there. On the front of the book is where you store them. Here is one of them right here. These are plastic stickers and they are completely reusable. Um, if they get a little linty or dirty on the back where they stick, you can just rinse them off under cold water. And um, I like it because you can also match the colors on the front so you're learning colors. And each little animal in the story gets a boo-boo and then you use the little band-aid um, to make their boo-boo feel better. And so you're also matching the animal with its um, correct little um, band-aid sticker as well. So um, that is a very fun one. Here's a great one for someone who's expecting or if you um, have a friend or family member who is expecting, this is a book that is designed for toddlers and preschoolers who are expecting to have a um, little brother or sister join the family soon. This is called Say Hello to Baby, a handy guide for a new big brother or sister. And I love it because it tells you what to expect, walks through all the feelings that are involved um, and how they um, you know, might be anticipating this. And then it talks about, it's like a how-to guide for the older brother and sister. And it talks about um, all the different stages of babyhood and things that you can do as a big brother and sister to get involved with and things that you can expect like um, the little umbilical cord um, that turns into a belly button and how the babies grow and develop and thoughts and feelings uh, that you and the baby might have and little games and toys and things that you can do um, together with your new brother or sister. Um, how they might be trying some new foods, um, 
how you, they might be crawling and talking. Um, and it gives lots of prompts throughout the book, like um, clap your hands whenever baby stands up or hold on to baby's hand and take them for a walk around the room. Um, so it really is a hands-on way to get those little kids involved and excited about their new brother or sister. All right, next up I have yoga animals at the seashore. If you guys like yoga or you want to get into it, this is a book that's going to teach you and your kids together jumping, stretching, balancing, relaxing, and it's all about this crab and he goes through the ocean and meets all kinds of different animals and he learns a new yoga pose from each of the animals. Um, and it has a nice story that you read um, as you go. The illustrations are so cute. Um, here we go with the sea otter and the crab is mimicking the sea otter and then there's the yoga move that goes along with it. It has a how-to. Um, and like here you go with the pellet, the pellet, the seagull is standing on one foot and how you can do that too. It's got lots of moves at the very end here. I loved how it showed all the moves and a nice summary page and shows the different benefits of each of those different yoga moves. We also have yoga animals in the forest. So this is, um, that one was so popular. We have a new one there to join it. This one is so fun. Little Helpers, Laundry Day, Sort and Play. Now I gotta say, unfortunately, this one was so popular that it sold out really quickly, but it is coming back in March. So you can put it on your wish list and grab it in March. But it comes with these really cool felt pieces of clothing that are stored in this laundry machine here. And it's all about teaching your kids sorting and matching. And they're gonna take these little felt pieces of laundry throughout the book. And there's lots of places throughout the book, like here you can hang it on the drying, um, the drying, what do you call it? line. Um, here you can practice folding and oh I got some felt pieces in here. Here's sorting where you put the different things, putting them away, putting your clothes and there's different activity on each page and then the very end of it um, of the book then you get to practice um, dressing up your little characters with their felt clothing. They have hats and socks and shoes and shirts and pants. So a lot of fun here with a little helper's laundry book. If your little one loves helping you with the laundry, this is a great one for them. My daughter was so excited about this one. Where does poop go? This is our first questions and answers lift the flap book. And it is all about where does the poop go? I know that is a common question. Once your kid is um, potty trained and going poop on their own, they all want to know what happens to it after I flush the toilet. And this book goes through that and it also talks about um, the difference between animals and humans and why we poop different places. <laughs> uh, why does poop look different for animals versus for us? Uh, what would we do without poop? Why we need poop? Um, and just a lot of fun information in this one. Okay, now this right here is the featured book of the night. I am um, Sorry, I was so, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get to that one in a minute. Let me let me get back to that one. Sorry, I've got them out of order. Um, I wanted to go on with showing you a few more favorites for preschoolers. Um, this is the Finger Trail ABC Big Letters. Now, last year we came out with Finger Trail ABC with the little letters, but my daughter and I were starting with capital letters while we were learning, and so I was so excited that this one just joined it. Each of the books had, each of the book, um, pages with the letters have a, I don't know if you can see the, um, how it's like, uh, what I want to say, indented into the page. Um, and so there's a finger trail to run your finger through. Um, so it helps you learn how to trace the letters. And then of course it has lots of fun things that start with each letter on the page. So if you are learning your letters, your alphabet and your letter recognition, I definitely recommend finger trail, ABC, big letters and or little letters as well.
big book of the brain and how does it work? Um, this is recommended for ages eight, um, seven or eight on up. This is a new one that lots of people are excited about. Um, and it is all about the human brain. Um, how does it work? How is it structured? Um, how does it help us see? How does it help us remember, store our memories, um, emotions, and sleep? What is the purpose of sleep? Um, how does it help keep our body alive and regulate our body? How does it help us make decisions? What are the decision-making processes that it goes through? Um, so if you have a kid who is lots of um, questions about how the body works, um, Book of the Brain and How It Works is one that I definitely recommend. And we have a new, um, couple new additions to our That's Not a Job. I like sports. We also have I like outdoors. I like space. And now we now have I like, well, I like space and I like art is joining the outdoors and sports one. So there's seven of them now. Um, and these explore different careers. So if you have a kid who's interested in the outdoors, sports, art, space, etc., cetera, um, you can explore all kinds of different careers with them that are involving that subject that they like. So just to show you the content here in the art one, all the different variety of things that you could use as a career besides just artist. Uh, you've got architect, furniture maker, art museum, museum curator, art teacher, police sketch artist, graphic designer, interior designer, photographer, and tons more. Um, and then it kind of goes through each um, career and tells you all about it, what a typical day in the life of that um, career would be like. And oh, at the very end of that book, um, one thing that I really like too is to help you find your perfect job match. It kind of has one of these diagrams to say like, um, what are your skills? What qualities do you have? And what are your interests and goals to help you match those things with your perfect career? So we have the newest one, art and space are the newest ones. Um, and then we also have the outdoors, animals and sports. <laughs> okay, so next up, I'm going to get into our, our activity books, and I am going to show you our featured book of the night. I am so excited about this one, you guys, the Never Get Bored Draw and Paint book. We also have Never Get Bored book and Never Get Bored Outdoors book, and so the outdoors one focuses on outdoors. This one focuses on painting and drawing. I love the little... Um, cord that it has here and this has this book has almost a hundred different um, here's a table of contents different activities all involving art and painting and drawing and so many great ideas um, I'm just going to show you a few of my favorites real quick um, design a fireworks display Draw exploding fireworks with wax crayons, then cover the whole piece of paper with a water-based paint. The wax and the paint do not mix, so the firework pictures will gleam and sparkle through the paint. Have you ever done one like that before? Oh my gosh, how much fun. Um, here's another one that I liked, um, painting with your fingers, and it tells you step by step what to do, shows you some different techniques, um, and gives lots of different prompts um, for how to do that. Uh, here we have some games that you can play with drawing. Um, this one is a roll of the dice game where you make different faces. Um, here's a racing, a drawing racing game. Here is like a win, lose, or draw kind of game where someone's going to guess what you're drawing when you write it out on a um, slip of paper. So those are things that you can do with a group. Um, here's how to draw optical illusions and a fun 3D hole. Uh, these are just some of my favorite ones, but there's like a hundred different things in here to do. Um, splatter painting, um, making shadow art. 
Here is um, just a great example of how they're showing techniques with like shading, um, like uh, this bush is looking lighter because the, the lines have bigger gaps between them. And then this one's looking darker because they have less lines between them. The different techniques like scrumbling, blending, stripling, cross hatching, hatching, and simple shading, all with that uh, you can do with pencils. Um, and a couple more fun ones showing you how to put things into different perspective by making things bigger and smaller. So you're learning a lot of different techniques as well. Here's a fun activity I thought for those of you who have lots of boxes, maybe you get a lot of Amazon shipments, um, building a city out of boxes and it shows you how to do that and gives you some great ideas. So never get bored, draw and paint book. That is our featured book of the night. Um, along those lines, some other activity books, I have the Unworry Doodle book. Uh, this is helping you to float away with your doodling, um, drawing, scribbling, sketching throughout the book with lots of different, again, art prompts. Um, but this one it does not have very much text or how to, it's more just, you know, all this blank space for you to write in to the book. The other one was not a write-in book. Uh, this is a write-in book. So you write right into the book. You can take it with you. And all you need is a pen or some colored pencils. And there's tons of just, you know, fun space in here to doodle, doodle, doodle all day long. I feel like lots of adults can use this. Um, doodling is a great stress reliever, stress reliever to keep your hands busy. Um, another fun art activity book is um, My Year of Art. We also have My Year of Writing, which is brand new. And then we had another popular A Year in My Life. Um, now this book has, um, it's a write-in book and it has 365 art activities. So there's a different one each day. Some of them are very short. They do not take much time. You can write right into the book and it makes a great keepsake kind of journal um, thing for the future. Um, here's a, just a couple of short ideas. Here's one where you find and look at the two sides of a coin, which design do you like the most? And then draw it, copy it here in this space and then color it in with colored pencils. Um, here you take a um, piece of a rolled up toilet paper roll and look out of it like a telescope around the room that you're in and stop when you spot a good view and then draw it here in the circle to the right. And here is a fun painting activity all about um, the artist Joan Mitchell and how she did frenzied brushstrokes of paint on her canvases and kind of explains how to do that and then gives you a space there to do your own. Uh, so there's 365 art activities in that one. Another fun art book is our Usborne Design activity book. Uh, this one has um, lots and lots of, again, a write-in activity book, lots of um, space for designing all kinds of different things, tons of ideas. Um, what is design? What's in this book? It talks about graphic designer, product designer, spatial designer, digital designer, fashion designer. So if you have a child who wants to potentially become a designer, one of those types of designers, this is a great book for them. Um, and it has tons of activities um, that will let them explore um, those different design fields, um, like designing a website and um, designing all kinds of um, different things. So that is the Usborne Design Activity Book. Um, here's a couple new activity books for a little younger one. My daughter and I love the Look and Find Puzzles book. I think there's like four of these right now. I just got the forest one, uh, but it has um, different things to find on each page. It's very um, simple, like, um, and it also helps with counting too. So like here, 
can you spot two dangling bats? And then they have to find two bats that are dangling upside down. Have you seen my books? So you have to search on the page for the books. Find four more pair of glasses that look like this. Find two more red spiders that look like that. Um, this is a great one for tucking into a purse or bag and taking on the go, using it in a waiting room or a restaurant or something like that where you need to keep the kids occupied. Um, Stained Glass Coloring is a wonderful book where you um, have these clear translucent pages and you color it with felt markers, colored pencils, even crayons, anything like that. Um, and then you tear out the page and you hang it on a window um, and or any glass um, and it will look like a nice um, fun um color or what I want to say stained glass effect um, so we now have six of these we have the monsters is new we have animals mermaids princesses dinosaurs unicorns and then this one here so there are lots of fun stained glass um, coloring if you have colors now I'm going to get into some fun new chapter books. Um, if you are familiar with sticker dollar, dolly dressing, these are fantastic sticker books, um, which my daughter is obsessed with, where you have a story on each page and then you have a full page of stickers and you get to dress up the dollies with the different outfits and stickers and... They've been a long time favorite of um, Usborns for a long time. Well, they were so popular that Usborn now has come up with Sticker Dolly's um, chapter books. So we now have, I just have, I got had to get all of them. Um, we now have six Sticker Dolly's chapter books. And so it's all based on the Sticker Dolly dressing characters from the Sticker Dolly's um, sticker books. And these also have some stickers in them too. So just to give you an example here, the Sticker Dollies Unicorn Rescue. And these, by the way, are great for newer readers or developing um, chapter book readers. Uh, just to show you what the pages look like, the text level, there's illustrations on every page. Um, and the very front of the book, you it introduces the characters. So here are the characters in this book and tells a little background about each of them. And then you have a page of stickers with their outfits. And then you go back to the character page and you put their outfits on them. Um, so those are a lot of fun. And there's six of these now um, in the sticker dolly dressings. Here's another fun new chapter book, Freddy's Amazing Bakery all about Freddy who uh, runs a bakery and it has recipes in here as well. Uh, so it's kind of a fun um, mystery series. Uh, there's two of them now. Uh, here's another new chapter book series, My Secret World of Mermaids. And we also have My Secret World of Unicorns. So your unicorn and mermaid lovers will love these. Um, it has... Um, stories and it has activities and recipes in here also um, just to give you and then there's some pages that you can color in here's these are all stories um, and then there's activities where you do different things on each page as well and what was one of the recipes that I saw that was really cool they're all like mermaid inspired in this one or unicorn inspired in the other one uh, can't find the recipe off the top of my head oh here's one <laughs> sea smoothie surprise make shake decorate um and so it's uh, kind of fun with food oh this is the one that i really liked here it is um sea foam floats like a like an ice cream float but you use some blue food coloring and some soda. Um, and 
it's uh, like a clear fizzy drink and some, and it makes a fun um, sea foam float. How fun is that? Okay, now I'm going to get into a couple for some older readers, and then I'm going to get into some picture storybooks, and I have got to wrap this up in a half an hour. I promise to keep it to a half an hour, so I'm just going to show the fronts really quickly. We have Understanding the Climate Crisis. Um, this is the newest in the Understanding um, series. These are infographic styles, so you can see the text in there is um, written so that it is very fun to read. Um, this this one it joins politics and government, business, philosophy, economics, money, and we have a lot in the understanding nonfiction series. Another new nonfiction book that we have is 100 Things to Know About the Oceans. We also have um, computers, history, earth, um, planet earth, saving the earth, science, the space, body. So there's a lot of different 100 Things to Know About series. Um, and they have, this one's all about the ocean. So there's lots of different things to learn about the ocean. Um, if you were a fan of 10 minute stories, we now have 10, 10 minute animal stories. Um, my daughter and I love these. They're illustrated, great for read aloud. And each story is only 10 minutes long. This one is brand new and it features all animal stories. Um, here's a few of my favorite new picture books, Fair Shares, which is all about sharing, which is would be a great one for reading in a classroom. Um, our Wrong Fairy Tale series, which has Goldilocks and the Three Little Pigs. And then we have Jack and the Three Bears. And so the characters from some well-known um, fairy tales have gotten mixed up together with hilarious results. Um, if you have a kid who loves fairy tales, they will love mixing up the fairy tales too. I know me and my daughter did. Um, if you liked Miss Molly's School of manners. We now have Miss Molly's School of Kindness also. Um, I love these because they're kind of Richard Scary kind of type of illustrations with these cartoon characters and this one is teaching you all kinds of different fun ways that you can be kind to others and so teaching some empathy there. Another fun storybook is Never show a T-Rex a book. My daughter and I read this one last night. We loved it. It's all about this little girl who shows her T-Rex a book. And then of course he wants to learn how to read. So she has to teach him to read. And a lot of fun things happen because of how to read. And as we all know, there's a lot of fun books. And then the last one, I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one I'm going to show tonight. The Perfect Fit is another fun book. Triangles don't roll like circles or stack like squares. Um, so Miss Triangle sets off to find some friends who are exactly like her. But when she finds the other triangles, there's still something missing. Will Triangle ever find a place where she really belongs? And it is um, just a great story about diversity, great message about how people are different. Um, the shapes in the book are different, but they all have um, some fun things to teach each other. And at the end, they they all have a fun um, shape party together um, because they live in um, symbiosis together um, after they've learned all the fun things that they each uniquely can do as different types of shapes. Um, so that one is another great book for teaching some fun lessons. All right. Well, I am going to conclude and thank you all for joining me. Um, real quick, uh, if you are interested in getting some books for free, reach out to myself or your favorite Us Foreign Books and More consultant and think about booking a party because our average host gets $100 or more in free books. In fact, last week I had a host get $310 in free books from one party. 
And I also had another host who got around $200 just within the last week. Um, so it's definitely very fun to host a party and get all of these fun books for free um, that way. Or you can even, um, also talk to me about joining us for yourself if you are interested to do so and get all of your books at a discount. We have no sales quotas and no sales minimums to meet. So they are very, um, it's very low pressure and relaxed type of um, business to try out. All right, you guys, thank you again for joining. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye.